Hey folks, I really like to use stick stoves uh, in the bush and at home and I was on YouTube uh, and I saw this really neat series of videos on the folding firebox stove and uh, I sent in some comments and the owner Steve uh, I guess liked what I had to say I guess and he said hey why don't I send you uh, a free stove and you can test it out and see what you think and if if you like it make uh, make a video and I said hey sure uh, sounds like a good deal now uh, I, I don't I do not do video reviews of stuff that I don't use or I don't like now, I've been playing with this this stove and uh, it's not brand new and shiny anymore I've uh, I've used it it's sooted up and I can tell you folks I uh, I'm really impressed with this with this firebox stove so I decided to keep it and uh, yes I am going to do some uh, video reviews because because I really like it uh, so um, yeah so I'm going to do a series of reviews and uh, burns and show you how it works so stick with me uh, for uh, video number one here on uh, let's, let's get this thing uh, burning right away here boil some water and make some coffee Let's take it apart here and see what we have. There's these fire sticks that hold it together. There's this ash pan on the front that pops off and the stove just opens up and the floor pops down like that. I'll get these sticks out of the way here for a minute. So this is the unit here. Has this adjustable vent flap here, and it has all kinds of holes and openings for various settings for the fire sticks to put uh, bottles or cups or pots down inside, or alcohol stoves or up top. And I think in my next video I'll, I'll get into the tech specs of uh, the variation about all this stuff. Um, but for the first one here, let's just get a burn going here. So there's two basic ways to uh, to burn this. Um, the if you notice the bottom here has these very big air holes here. With the ash pan here in the what I call sort of the normal position. Goes the other way here. It provides a lot of a lot of air feed uh, right up. Through those holes and this thing rips this thing really burns hot and fast so if you're if you want to get a good hot boil going fast uh, this would be a good setting you can also turn this ash pan upside down and that's where these little polka dot soot marks come from and slide it in like that and it covers up those air holes in the bottom and so this is this is sort of analogous to damping down a wood stove, so this will uh, slow down the burn, which is a good thing if you want to cook and simmer for a long time on top of this. There's plenty of air holes around the side. So for this first burn, I think I'll burn it in I think what's sort of the normal position with the ash pan on the bottom here. And uh, I'll get this load it up with wood and be back in a minute. Oh, um, and I should say that I own a lot of stick stoves and uh, for me I find the best way to get them going is to load them up first with wood and then light a, a top-down fire. So I'll get this loaded and, and come back in a minute. This is the fuel I'll be using here. It's just uh, uh, chips uh, that I pick up from uh, around my uh, home wood pile here. Um, I have a wood stove at home, so there's lots of chips from splitting wood and just sticks that fall off trees in my yard. So this is the type of fuel that I'll be using. So I've got the I've got the fuel stuffed in there almost to the top and uh, what I've got here Close to the top is some birch bark, right at the top here, and I'm going to start a top-down burning fire so I can put my water pot on right away. 
And just to make this little bush crafty, I got a piece of uh, pitch wood or fat wood out of my wood pile there and made some scrapings. So I'll get this going. And I'll put the fire sticks pot supports on right at the top. Forgot to get the water in. I'm going to use a liter of water here. I'm wasting flame. I'll turn that stove around so you can see the gap. So this is my old faithful uh, Ole Camp stainless steel pot. It's about uh, one and a half quarts or so. So by starting the fire, uh, or sorry, loading the, up the stove first and starting the fire, I can get the water on the, on the flame right away and don't have to feed sticks for several minutes to build it up. I can take advantage of the heat right away. I forgot to start timing this, but who cares? Uh, when I'm out in the bush or in the backyard, a minute or two doesn't really matter, especially when the wood is free. I'll open up that, that vent flap and see what that does. So I opened that side flap up there for a bit more options for the flames to go. Stick stoves are really fun. You can play around with them and see how they work for you. So I have not loaded any fresh fuel in there since I started it. Getting there. Lots of space around the top, easy to feed. Okay, it's hot enough to put the coffee in. I'll just show you here. Get my glove on. Oh yeah, rolling boil. Just let me get the coffee here and I'll reset up the camera.
So this is how I make bush coffee. I guess what the Americans call cowboy coffee. Now it'll froth up pretty quick. So you want to make sure that when it's boiling, you don't you don't uh, let it overboil or boil over the pot. So you can gently stir that froth just gently so as not to bruise the brew and uh, that will make that, that boiling and frothing will make the um, the ground sink. Now I could have added this cold as well and uh, sometimes that works better than adding it right at the boil point where it can froth up on you because when you add it cold you can monitor it so I still have some grounds floating on the top, but they've mostly all sunk now. Just a little stirring gets them down. So that's how I make bush coffee. Well, it's not quite done yet. What I will do, I like it really hot. So I'll just take this off the heat and put it down and I'll tap it a couple times with a spoon or a piece of wood. Just let that sit for a couple minutes and that'll be just great. Some Arctic tundra scenes. That's where I should be right now canoe tripping which is what I often do in the summer instead of being stuck here in the city but here I am So that's how I make bush coffee. Are there grounds in there? Yeah, of course there are. Not filtered at all. Um, you toss out the last, the bottom of the cup there. Cheers. Oh, that's good. So that's my first video of uh, this firebox stove and I plan a few more. Like I said, I really like it. I only do reviews of stuff that uh, I use and I like.